different. It's been, it's yeah. been a, a whirlwind, as you'd imagine. You know, yeah. it's like you're drinking, drinking water out of fire hose, <laughs> trying to meet as many people as you can. You know, spend as much time with your players, ask a lot of questions. So it's been good, though. It's been really good. And what, what have I know? You know, the news just gets uh, finalized. But what have you been able to do since you got the okay to do whatever? Well, you're on the phone a lot, and I think that's the biggest thing right now is uh, wearing your your cell phone battery down. We're talking all day long. Obviously, yesterday was a big day with 2019 recruits and being able to contact them uh, at midnight. But you know, we're we're on the phone uh, trying to do, do about 10 different things at once, with different different recruiting classes with our own team, trying to find out who's, who may be out there, will be available still, and uh, and then most importantly, kind of getting getting a feel for the surroundings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, like you said, getting, getting familiar with the surroundings. You've obviously been here before. Yep. You're obviously the local guy coming home to do well or whatever you want to put it. But just, what has that been like for you, just emotionally, to, to have this opportunity to come back here? Yeah. It, it's uh, it's tough to put your mind around. To be quite honest with you. Um, it's been. You know, I've, I've got upward of 400 texts that I still have to return from the last, <laughs> just the last two and a half days. Um, but it's in a, in a lot of ways a dream come true to be to be a part of this program, be a part of this university, and, you know, uh, work for Chris uh, in my hometown, and that's, I, I think, uh, you know, if you had written this scenario up, started my coaching career 19 years ago, um, you know, that would, that would make, that'd make anybody happy, so I'm, I'm excited to be here, I'm humbled by the opportunity, and just excited to, uh, you know, to get this thing rolling. Is there anything you were excited to do, a restaurant, a neighborhood, a house, anything like that? that like yeah. not that you've maybe had much time but. yeah my, my old man owns a restaurant with about five or six of his buddies in German Village so I'm gonna have to get back there uh, and I'm gonna have to give a shout out to for the home uh, pizza uh, the greatest pizza on earth Rubino's Pizza in Bexley and uh, my uh, college roommate called and uh, he called today from California he knows I've told him uh, he's experienced with and he said, like, how many times are you going to eat Rubino's pizza this first month? And I said, I said quite a bit. So I'm excited to be home for a lot of reasons, but uh, obviously, you know, knowing your surroundings is great. How, what does it do that all three of you guys came here and joined the staff together, just kind of have that continuity? It's awesome. It's, uh, you know, it's very few times uh, in in our profession, you get an opportunity to transition uh, with a boss that you know and, and that you love and that you work for and you understand how, how he wants things to be done, but then to have an opportunity to do it as a staff, as a complete staff. Mike, Terry, and I uh, work really, really well together, and that's something that we all, you know, we take a lot of pride in. Take a lot of pride in. I think we all bring different strengths to the table, um, and we're experienced enough, I'm sure enough to, to know that, and sort of play up, play to that a little bit. And so, uh, it's it's, it's going to be great uh, in terms of having the familiarity with the guys you're working with, and I think it'll allow us to sort of hit the ground running. What we want to implement in our system and how we do things on a day-to-day -day basis, and, you know, just just things like that. Do you guys have?